Hello there, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your Singles New Love Reading. We're covering the rest of 2023, and we're having a look to see what energies are activating for you, what's thank you, what's at play for you now, and uh, what blessings or challenges are headed your way. So if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. And if you do find that you enjoy your reading, please do take a moment to press that like button. It lets me know you resonate with the reading and uh, subscribe to my channel for further readings. I cover dailies, I cover uh, money, um, angel readings, pick a card readings, etc, etc. So never without some content here on my channel. So let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got fun times. It's time for you to sparkle and shine here, Aquarius. All right. So the next couple of months we've got, we're entering silly season, as I call it, right? November, December, and into January. Um, you know, there's a lot of family get togethers. There's a lot of social things that go on a lot of celebrations and it's a big turning point typically at the end of the calendar new year so some of you may have some really uh it's time for you to expand socially and so if people ask you to go somewhere and if you get those invitations say yes because you just never know what might happen. It's a beautiful energy, all filled with positive, good vibes, and does show an element of excitement and having fun. We've got True Gem coming in here as well, so some of you may be getting those gifts, those invitations. You may find somebody who you do consider. They are, um, you know, they are like one of a kind, right? When we think of a gem, we think of something that is rare, and we think of something that is valuable. And so this can be uh, representing a person or people. Maybe you have some choices here that you may find. But the true gem is also you a reminder from the universe that you are a true gem, that you are incredibly valuable. Everyone should be lucky to have you and not in an arrogant way right? Not in an arrogant way whatsoever, right? That can be, you know, it can go a little bit sideways on that one, right? But really, you know, people should be lucky to have you in your life. So basically, the universe is really saying to you with this energy is don't sell yourself short. And a lot of times, Aquarius, you don't anyway, but we're a lot more of a makeup of just our sun sign, right? The major ones are the, are the sun, moon, rising, and your Venus sign. So all of these combine to uh, help, um, how should we say, contribute to who you actually are, right? So, you know, so sometimes we do sell ourselves shorter. We do kind of settle for second best a little bit. So remember how valuable you truly are and um, conduct yourself accordingly, make decisions accordingly. But it's a beautiful energy just reminding you exactly your worth. We have communication coming in here as well. So a lot of great things going on. It's like the floodgates have opened for you here, Aquarius. So a lot of invitations, a lot of networking, um, a lot of conversations, a lot of communication um, with this particular card, right? She's got a cell phone in her hand. So perhaps some of you are venturing into the technolo technology world of online dating, but you may be, because you're a little bit innovative here, Aquarius, you might be uh, trying like newer websites or a new approach to an old kind of online dating scenario. So maybe there is like some obscure websites out there that will probably be a little bit in your wheelhouse. And, you know, maybe just it's like I'm tired of the, you know, the normal ones, right, where everyone's just out for, you know, a good time and not a long time. So you might be investigating some newer ones. But the communication issue can just be that those doors of communication are open. You're talking to people. Um, people are talking to you. You're getting out there. You're engaging and you're having fun. People are probably kind of jealous of you in that energy. We've got detachment here as well. You're releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. Yes, this is a time when a lot of people are breaking free. We're breaking and we're shedding 
old patterns, habits, behaviors. And this is a time when we really are opening up our horizons and embracing the new. You're usually very good at that anyway. So you're an innovator, you're a trendsetter, you're a trailblazer. But in that energy, you're also leaving things behind. You are willing to change in this energy. And sometimes, you know, you want to change, make change on your own terms. And this is all about you. You're very much in control of your situation. And you're very much freeing yourself up here to move forward. We've got empathy coming in here as well. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love, right? And, you know, some of you are empaths, you're light workers, you know, I mean, we are in the age of Aquarius. And, you know, sometimes in this energy, um, you know, you are very empathetic to other people. You're the humanitarians of the group, but we have to be a little bit careful um, with when we have uh, the empathy energy coming in, because if you are an empath, um, you have to make sure that you're not just absorbing other people's energy. And a lot of people, a lot of you probably already know this anyway. So just make sure that you do take steps when you are uh, getting out, meeting people, having fun, uh, you're in social environments or even online. Just make sure that you do take steps to protect yourself um, energetically and also electronically. There's a big message of that coming through. Just you're usually fairly wise to the ways of the world, but we all do a little sidestep or a misstep every once in a while. Just make sure that, you know, if you are meeting somebody online, um, that you meet them in a public place. Don't give away too many personal details, that kind of thing. There's a lot of scammers out there and we do not want you to be one of those victims of them. You're usually pretty much in, tu in tune and touch with that technology though. But again, um, you know, sometimes we just have like a lapse in judgment or we just get excited so we ignore certain things so just be a little bit aware of that we have past energy coming in here as well through the power of love you release any stagnant situations of energy in order to transform your heart space so there is this big big thing here for you guys um, in the next couple of months and it's probably already started is you are getting a lot of energetic help here to open up Right. We've already said about breaking free, um, but it really does feel like um, you're about to very much. Thank you very much. Soar to new heights in regards to love and finding those connections. And when we completely fully open our heart and embrace the new and heal from past experiences, um, we trust ourselves a lot more, right? Especially in regards to love, right? Because a lot of times we don't open our heart because there's the fear of getting hurt, the fear of getting manipulated, the fear of, you know, um, wasting time, right? And so in this energy, huge, huge, huge energy of release. And this is just setting you free as we see in this energy over here. It's like, I'm alive. So it's like a lot of you are waking up. We've got the page of wands. You very much are waking up here. And so a lot of fire energy for you guys. Some of you, your Venus or your rising sign might actually be a fire sign um, of some kind. So Aries, uh, uh, Aries, Sag, right? It could be Sagittarian energy. I'm beginning a little bit of that. Um, and it's because of that freedom energy, right? It's like, it's like, I'm on fire, I'm free, I'm ready to soar. Um, Sag and, and Aquarius are fairly similar to a certain degree, right? So air and fire, but it's a very speedy energy. So um, embrace that, right? Uh, some of you could also be Leo, right? Want to have fun, right? Leo want to be fun, the center of attention and all that. So um, whether you are, whether you have some fire in your chart, or whether this is just, you know, the speed in which your things are going to progress for you, right? It's very exciting, right? And that's the important thing. But the page of wands comes in here. Now, this is your current energy. This is what's activating for you right now. And the page of wands is a beautiful energy. It's one of having fun. It's one of manifesting things into your reality. So uh, your manifestations are very much working here. The pages are always very curious. Um, they're always very excited about things and they're always willing to try new things, right? And that's very much in your wheelhouse, um, even though sometimes you might put the brakes on those a little bit or take a little bit of a while longer to decide. This is a very exciting energy coming in. And when we get the page of wands, right, we're 
communicating. We're trying different things. We've got a sense of adventure. Um, maybe some of you are going on uh, like a vacation, traveling somewhere perhaps. And this is all in the um, element of fun and excitement and happiness and joy and uh, following your passions, your goals, your dreams. So all of these wonderful magical energies are very much activated for you. But we do quite often get messages or meet new people when we get that page of wands. So those doors are open for you, but it doesn't require you to take some initiative to take some action. Right. So remember, no matter what we've got going on, we can't sit on the couch and not go out and meet people or even make an attempt to communicate or make those connections. We can't just sit on the couch and then complain that we haven't found someone if we're not taking steps forward and we're not putting ourselves out there. We have the five of wands here in your challenge position. Now the five of wands kind of a bit of a challenge anyway, sometimes. So this can represent here that there might be a little bit of conflict going on and this can be internally within you like you're excited to move forward you're excited to meet new people you're excited to go out and have get out and have fun um but there's also like this energy of you know hesitation right so and this can create a little bit of conflict energy right a little bit of a push and pull like yes i do no i don't yes i do no i don't so that may be something that you're working through and this is where the energy of detachment and releasing things from your past even just um even just doubts right all of those are being washed away now the five of wands can also come in with a little bit of drama a lot of times like family drama or things like that. So it may be that, um, you know, because of the season that we're in, we've got a lot of family get togethers and things. And we all know family's not always um, nice or polite, right? Um, and sometimes they're just very blunt, right? And so you could just find yourself in awkward positions here, um, you know, where you're being asked questions like, hey, is there a special someone in your life, right? How come you're not dating anybody and all this? And, you know, it's really quite annoying, right? It's very irritating when we get in that um, in that energy. And then we might sit there and say, uh, you know, sometimes you can be a little snappy with a rebuttal, um, especially if you do have any fire in your chart there. And, you know, it's where we might turn around and say, well, you know what, actually I enjoy being single. I like my freedom and you don't exactly seem super happy anyway. Right. And so sometimes we can, uh, you know, say a little bit of something back that we don't necessarily um, mean or we mean it, but we just wish we didn't say it. So there could be some sort of uh, family drama there that's just creating a little bit of grief for you. Um, and then over the next couple of months, New Year's is likely going to be a very significant turning point for you. We are just as I'm doing this reading, we just come out of eclipse season and um, we are feeling the after effects of these eclipses. But one of the eclipses was the solar eclipse in Libra. And this was in the middle of October. And Libra is ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of beauty and love and abundance and resources, new beginnings, all of that wonderful stuff. And Libra is the sign that is closely associated with relationships and partnerships, right? Meeting new people. So a huge activated energy there of meeting new love, right? And so welcoming new love into your life. So no matter where you happen to find yourself, um, don't be afraid of putting yourself out there um, because the five of wands can represent like some competition. And yes, um, the dog eat dog world of single life right? Um, it's not always pleasant. It's not always fun. And there are a lot of people looking for the same thing. So, um, you know, you might want to be a little bit creative, um, page of wands, um, and find different ways to meet people and to communicate with people. And because the page of wands is very inspirational, very creative kind of energy, maybe there's something here that you want to do, something that you want to try. And this might be involved like a little bit of a social aspect to it. So join a class or something like that can actually um, help you meet some people, right? Or maybe you're going to join like a singles group instead of just going online and trying to meet new people. It's a very outside the box kind of energy. I feel that that um, Aquarius, that you are, you know, lining yourself up here to meet somebody in a very unique and interesting way. But you've got to be willing to try new things, right? And you usually are, but we do get wrapped up.
So the five of wands does show that there might be some group activities out there, maybe with people that do share a common interest with you. And this can be where you meet them, right? Um, but it's not without like a little bit of, um, you know, uh, competition or, you know, uh, a little bit of, um, how should we say, a little bit of a struggle, all right? But I think that you will overcome that, right? It's just in our challenge position. It's not impossible to overcome um, or to avoid entirely. But we do have the Six of Wands here, and this is the blessings headed your way the next couple of months. It's your time to shine. The Six of Wands right after the Five of Wands, you're going to overcome whatever's standing in your way. You're going to overcome any conflict or some drama. Um, you're going to make the changes, whatever it is that you need to make. You're going to get yourself out there and you're going to shine because the six of wands is where we are taking the front seat. This is where we're elevated to um, another level where people can see us and you might even be like the chosen one kind of thing, right? A lot of times when we get like uh, uh, the dating scene and online dating and stuff like that, I do end up getting the five of wands because it's a whole bunch of people competing for the same thing and that thing is love. But here in the Six of Wands energy, you are rising to the top. So this is a great time for you to get yourself out there and find love. And the Six of Wands, of course, about being in the spotlight, about moving forward, making the right bold moves, right? And um, being really successful at it, right? It does bring in an energy of success and recognition in that. So it can be very, very exciting for you guys. So embrace all of this wonderful fiery energy, a lot of chemistry going on, um, a lot of new people, um, a lot of events, right? And you are very much at the top of your game right now. So let's see. <laughs> let's see what else we get here. And I'm, uh, you know, to be honest with you, Aquarius, I'm right in the same boat with you. I am an Aquarius sun. So, um, you know, and I am also single. So, um, you know, I'm, but I'm, you know, kind of also a little bit of the back and forth thing. I really don't carry the way. Um, but, uh, you know, been there, done that, wrote the book pretty much, right? So, um, you know, but, uh, it can be a little bit challenging sometimes to, you know, really focus on you and the things that you want, right? Sometimes we get diverted a little bit with helping other people or, you know, um, you know, we really try and find the balance between helping others, being there for others, and also making sure our own needs are met, right? So make sure you do take a balanced approach at life over the next couple of months, because if you're always super busy looking out for other people and helping other people, which is commendable, right? But you also got to take care of you and put yourself first, all right? We have come to the edge, very exciting energy in there. Okay, so get ready, get prepared. Um, there's great things ahead for you. This is be ready for action, ready to open the door, ready to meet new people. It's very exciting energy. Um, and uh, so, uh, you know, put on your hard hat and get ready to take that leap of faith. We also have truth be told coming in here. Uh, card number 14 actually relates back to the temperance card, Sagittarian energy, the help of Jupiter. Very wonderful. But the truth be told energy is really about you trusting your wisdom and trusting your intuition in that. We've got that owl there. Okay. We also have a mask right here. So just remember, as we already suggested with the online activities, is that not everything is always as it seems. Okay. And just make sure that you do take steps to protect yourself, right? Just in case. Um, but be open and be honest. This is really saying to you here that you know you're about to open a portal to finding love so just be you be yourself be true to who you are be honest um, about yourself don't put on false masks false errors anything like that and you usually don't but again um, you know we all have a different story right um, just remember that you are this true gem okay and if someone's gonna like you they're gonna like you if they're not gonna like you eh. That's okay too, right? Because you're not going to pretend to be something that you're not You're going to be authentic in this energy. So I also do feel here that there might be a revelation because the truth be told energy can be something about someone opening up and revealing something to you. And especially with this communication out here. So someone may reach out to you that um, maybe you haven't seen for a while 
or someone that you know and they may have reveal some feelings or something for you um, and it might catch you just a little bit off guard but it can actually be really good right in this uh, in this energy so be open keep those lines of communication open because you never know you might have a little bit of a surprise so I'm going to leave that there for you folks. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please do hit like on this video. It lets me know you resonate with the reading, but also subscribe to my channel as well. Um, and that way you always see anything else that I post. So I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.